That's not the finest Sega I've ever heard, but here we are. Hello, Misfits. Um, we're playing Sonic Chaos. Well, I hope that's what it was I clicked on. Just because I keep getting videos in my YouTube feed about a remake of the Sonic Chaos, and I thought we'll give it a go. So, it was originally on the Game Gear, 1993. So, fairly early. We've got to start Sonic. And how do I go? Ah, there we go. Circle for whatever reason. That was good. I mean, Turquoise Hill, though. I see where they're coming from. Yeah, you got to run to the left, haven't you? You know, Emerald Hill, Turquoise Hill. Though, when I heard Emerald Hill, I heard Emerald... The colour first, before the gemstone. But, maybe that's the theme they're going with. Here we go, the Game Gear. Many times prettier than the Game Boy. But, well, we know how that... Oh! Okay, I don't remember this power-up. Oh, it did not last long. Oh, I can jump that. Nope, I can't jump that, though. Go over here. Ah! That spring's not just for show. Yeah, so apparently some people are remaking this. I mean, it's... We've already seen something new, so I can jump that, yeah. Now, do I need to get 50 rings, like the original Sonic, to un unlock the secret stage? Don't even know there are secret stages, don't know anything. We're just literally going to have a quick mess around on this, though. Maybe another Sonic game. Yep, those... F oh, oh, he sent us miles back. Ooh, I mean, he did the graphics didn't change much when I was doing that. Ah. Okay, end level. Ah, do we bounce this around like we did in Sonic 3? Hey, we got Flicky though. And 792 kilometers. I don't know if that means that that's how they done worked that one out. Did not feel that fast. Just when I was, I was playing this a little bit earlier, and just thinking about it, I would love to meet someone who was really into the Game Gear at the time. Uh, there was one guy in primary school, he did have a Game Gear. He had Chuck Rock and um, a plain game. So in my head, I want to say it was like F15 Interceptor or something like Adlock, but that could be, that's very wrong. Something Lock, Airlock. Oh, that was lucky, that was a Spring Beetle. Which it might be called. Yeah, that was my fault. He feels kind of sluggy, but just a little sluggish change in direction. His spikes are way shorter, though. He looks pretty good, though. When I was playing a little bit earlier... Oh, one of those again. Just just take advantage of it and go as far as we can. Oh, and there we go. We can't drop into a ball, though. Boom, boom. Oh, do we have... Oh, I didn't get a chance to see we've got the spin dash. Yeah, I just want to meet someone who really into Game Gear at times, see what they had to say. I mean, I have a huge retro collection, but Game Gear never really fussed about. I've got more, you know, Lynx games than Game Gear games. That was good, though. I don't know how the hell I could record Lynx video, Atari Lynx videos. But in, um, yeah, Game Shop years ago, just had, like, someone sold it, Lynx, and about a dozen games, and it was 50 quid. I was... Working at a time, I mean, obviously, it was a long time ago where 50 quid's a bit more than 50 quid is now. But, yeah, I thought it was a fun novelty. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's see. No, well, we wasted their voice time as usual. Why not? No, all of these just doing that. Unnecessary. But look at all the colours compared to Game Boy. I bet if you did have the Game Gear, you would be thinking, Oh, oh, is it a boss? Okay, we have bosses. Oh, wrong way. Oh, wow, that, that wasn't wasn't the most difficult boss I've ever faced. That's not me, that wasn't me controlling him then. Yeah, we, we've definitely uh, faced far uh, stronger bosses. I had no intention to play this today. I was 
What's he gonna do? Oh yeah, the other day, uh, Destiny Forsaken add-on came out. So I went to click on Destiny. I haven't bought it. I haven't bought the add-on. I might. Probably not though. But I might. Clicked on it. After just finished downloading it like a couple days ago, and already it wanted me to download 20 gigs. So we're not playing that for a couple of days, unfortunately. Hmm, do I need to bash through the end? Yeah, I just wasn't in the I had to delete stuff just to make room. Yeah, I had to free up 60 gigs just to download a 20 gig file. Yeah, that was what I was supposed to do. Yeah, so a little bit annoyed. Not really playing. I'm playing a bit too raid on places, but nothing I'm really into. I don't need to delete rubbish, mind you, mostly. Just have to reinstall a monster. That's first time monster has been deleted since I got it. I haven't played it for a while. Behemoth is too hard. Ah, oh, these shaped things. Oh, those beetles are cool. I don't think I've seen them in a previous Sonic game. Good old Sonic rules. Keep a ring on you at all times. Oh, messed up that jump. Oh no, we need to hit it. Come on. I feel Flicky, if this is a hidden grade system, Flicky's pretty low. E, that is not an S rank. That is not a triple S stylish sick rank. Pass Act 1 though. I mean, it's a passable Sonic game. We we'll, may as well finish this zone, I guess, if we can. Don't recognise the music. I'm fairly familiar with all the Sonic games in the series, so it seems original tunes. He is pretty well added, but it's just those spikes are short. Keep going. There we go. Oh, and just. Yep, yeah, some people playing Sonic Mania, I'm playing Sonic Chaos. Now, um. Oh, I died. Oh, silly move, silly mistake. Yep, yeah, very silly. Those rings fade away as soon as they're off screen. I was going back for the ring and just tripped over my shoelaces, it seems. Yeah, I'm not playing this on the Game Gear. I'm playing this on the Sonic Mega Collection Plus on the PS2. I think these Game Gear games are sort of extras on this, because I have got. Because the Sonic Mega Collection first came out on the GameCube. And then, like, months or maybe, m probably not a year later, but it came out as plus on, yeah, my, my foe came out as plus on everything else. Ooh, that was a short level, 31 seconds. We've got Tails, though. 889, good speed. Yeah, I think this version has Game Gear. Oh, wait, obviously it's Game Gear games, but I don't think the Game Gear games may have been on the other one, or some other games were new. It's a decent, oh, another continue. It's a decent collection, though. You didn't really need the GameCube games if you had the, the game, game Gear games. If you had the on GameCube, because if you've got Mega Collection, you'd have all the Mega Drive games, and then you'd get the Game Gear games. If you had uh, Billy Hatcher, I'm sure that game you could unlock Game Gear games. Maybe I'm thinking of a completely different Sonic game. Not Sega game. Oh, so it's just boss versions of like the original normal monsters. Oh, yeah. Did I pick it up? Oh, the HUD goes away in the fight to make it a little bit more cinematic almost. And we rushed off. Uh, I think this is a save state. I'm not. I'm not gonna come back. Actually, I'm not gonna waste a save. I'm not. Gonna, I can. I can get this far again. Let's quickly run on the next level, then we'll call that Sleeping Egg Zone. Okay, I was expecting a Dr. Robotnik's ship. And I was not expecting me to fly through this. Can I go to the carriage break through here? No, I want to break through this one though. And see what's over here. Oh, nothing interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting gimmick. Stop. Nope, we need to break them all. Well, we probably would have changed batteries by now. If this is an actual Game Gear. I remember not being generous. Oh, 
Well, I think that's a good place. Oh, there's a Dr. Robotnik thing in the background picture. We'll end this episode here. I'm going to try another Game Gear game just because since we're here for the for the fun of it. So for now, this is farewell. Farewell, but not forever. <laughs>